your gift of military war dog Luca to her handlers, Master Sergeant Chris Willingham and Corporal Juan Rodriguez, as well as all of the troops that followed behind her, was your hand and your grace. Just like Luca, Cody, Buddy, and Quinn, to name a very few, served her tour of duty until her time on earth was through. More than a German shepherd, she was my closest friend, a true and faithful partner who would be there to the end. Well, Luca's last patrol was uh, March 23rd, 2012, is when she was injured. Now she was again off leash. They left a, a tree line going to, to a compound and she located an IED, uh, which like I said, she was pretty good at doing that. And your, your, uh, your thought process is whether there's one, there's two, where there's two, there's three. That's my known threat, now where are my unknown threats? So following our basic, what we're supposed to do, they started looking for secondaries and the secondary device detonated. And that's what injured her front left leg. Um, and then one, we get some incredible like veterinary dog down training uh, before we go overseas. And one's training kicked in. You know, at that point, you don't see your dog down. Like, that's your that's a fellow Marine that just got injured. And so he just ran up the path that she cleared, uh, helped stop the bleeding, picked her up, ran her back to the tree line, and they were medevaced in 10 minutes. But he got on the bird with her, uh, just stayed with her through her entire recovery process and rehab process. She was walking in 10 days. Uh, she didn't have any internal ear or eye damage. And the best part is she had the same spirit that she had before that incident. Oh, we never know where life will take us. I know it's just a ride on the wheel. And we never know when death will shake. Bye.